seeing this offense come along and just finding the consistency with them? And how much does it have to do with, you know, Tannehill and then obviously getting that run going? Well, Ryan's done a nice job, clearly, uh, since he's been in there. But the, the whole offense, we try to make improvements from week to week, even going back to week one. Uh, you know, we that game to, to week to week, winner, whether we win or won or lost, we just tried to make improvements. You're seeing a lot of guys sort of get more comfortable, and that's what you want as the season goes on. It's a long season, I mean, as we can all tell. I mean, it feels like three different lifetimes ago, you know, week one. But it says we hopefully we just keep making progress. You know, like you were just hinting at when there is such a 180 from the two and four to where you are now, it's not just one guy. Right. How, what are some of the things you've seen maybe across the board that have gotten better since then? There's a lot of things. There's the the line. I mean, we were shuffling guys in and out because of injuries or whatnot. And just at the tight end position, the receivers, I mean, everybody, they get comfortable. It's like any relationship. The more you're around somebody, the more familiar you are with them, you understand that communication is better. And so we're just seeing, hopefully, continue this growth from week to week. And that's what we've been preaching all year. There's, there's a lot of conversations that go go on and between John and Drabes and the coaching staff and it's different from player to player but uh, you know I'd let those guys speak for that stuff okay so you didn't really you weren't really involved I won't come any okay, okay. um, what uh, what was your impression of him uh, just from afar coming into the I was always a, a fan of him I thought he was a tough football player that uh, stood in the pocket and you know he, he he'd gone through a gamut of injuries and, and different different systems as well. So, but I'd always always heard good things about him. What you thought? Are you seeing that week to week? Or are you seeing more than what you thought? It's hard to judge when you don't. You're seeing something from afar, so you don't really know what they're being asked to do. Uh, you know, a lot of times you look at film. There's a lot of assumptions made by other coaches. I think, uh, and I don't want to misquote him, but Bill Belichick had a really good quote about that. You're talking about arguably the greatest coach of all time, saying when you're game planning from week to week, you have an idea of what somebody's being asked to do, but you don't know unless you're in those meeting rooms. You can see a similar play, and hey, here's how I teach it, and or it just depends if you're arrogant enough to think that you know everything and think that, oh, this is how I taught it, so they got to be teaching it that way. So you don't know until you're in those meeting rooms with this guy and you work with him. Uh, but Ryan's done a great job since he's been here, and I can only speak for since Ryan's been with us. He's done a nice job. How much is it confidence, you know, when things were going badly at the beginning, maybe it fed off itself a little bit, like, oh, no, here we go again. When you're on a streak like you are now, how much does confidence kind of feed on itself? Like, we're doing it again. We're going to do it. We've been doing it. Yeah, sure. There's from As you build this thing from week to week, you hope to, you grow past that stage of, Oh no! I mean, that's the, the, the you don't want that mindset at all because you know in any football game there's going to be an ebb and flow. It's not going to be perfect, and that's the beautiful part of this game. It's whether you have the mindset to be like, we're good. I mean, whatever they throw at us, like obviously you don't want those turnovers to happen or a penalty or a negative play. But I mean, you just you got two ways to look at it. You're like, good, here we go. Let's let's move on and then find out, figure out what, what we can do to go win this football game. Confidence so, now. It, sure, it, it it grows week to week, but you got to there's a, there's a new challenge and there's going to be. A big challenge for us this Sunday. With two games in three weeks against these guys, do you keep things in the holster this week, or do you do things that maybe you want to set up something for two weeks from now? Or it, 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 you really got to put the blinders on. It's you know, it's not not like an NBA series. You know, when you're going best of seven or something like that. If we, it, it, all that matters is this Sunday. It really does because there's so many things that can happen from this game. The next, if you start doing that, then it, you may uh, set yourself up for failure on this week. So we just try to focus on today and, and this week. What have you seen from, from AJ as the season has gone on? How has it <coughs> changed maybe uh, in, in terms perhaps of consistency? Uh, like a lot of players, uh, you know, he's his first year in the NFL. He's you know, getting used to the, the pro game and what we're asking him to do. And he's done a nice job. He just works at it day after day. And so hopefully he continues on that. So uh, again, when he got here, there's always going to be a learning curve with all these guys. And so he's done a really nice job as a rookie. So hopefully he continues to do it. The fact that his, his big numbers in a few of the last few weeks and also the snaps, pretty good signs that, that there's a, a building trust uh, there for, for you with, with him. Yeah, absolutely. All those guys. I got I trust all those guys. We put those guys out there, whether it, it's Khalif or Hollister, Corey, it, it, you know, Kari blasting game. Like, if you're in this thing, I, I got trust in these guys. But I, I guess really as, a, as a rookie. Sure, and sometimes you know it, it's it, it, the ball's found him in certain situations, and it may not. He, sometimes he's the primary, and sometimes somebody else is, and he's, he's done a nice job making plays. 
Walker, how much more fun is it as a coach, or maybe how much more juice does it give you as a coach when things are working like they have of late compared to beginning of the season where you struggled to score points and probably wasn't a lot of. Yeah, I don't, I don't, my mind doesn't go that way. It's just it's whether you got a fixed mindset, you got a growth mindset, it's, there's ways to look at it. You look at something like it's a disaster, oh no, what was me? I'll never look at it like that. I look at it to try to fix a solution, see if we can get better. So, when are, certainly there's a comfort level when you're calling plays and things are working. But to look at something as a disaster or just catastrophic event, I, I don't have that mindset. I really don't. How much has the offense kind of adopted that, just that kind of mindset that you're talking about? And how have you seen that lead through? We just, uh, you know, I can't speak for these other guys, but just as a, as a whole, we just try to, I try to be consistent. And I think we, we all have as a coaching staff and as a player. And they'll see through you if you, you know, you're trying to change week to week and you're trying to be a front runner, you're whatever, you, you know, whoever knows or trying to, Whatever. We I just try to be consistent, and we just try to make improvements because this thing is we got a couple more weeks, and we got to get better this week, and that's all we, we focus on.